Hey man, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to the Cross-Eyed Texan. Before we get on with this review, I want to say thank you for the 13 new subscribers I've picked up in the past week or so. Thank you very much. Welcome to the channel. I'm not an expert about anything, but I do have an opinion about a lot of things, especially when it comes to this kind of stuff. So, once again, thank you for, uh, for subscribing. Getting ready to go to... Uh, our Tuesday night men's Bible study and if things like that are important to you I'll leave a link in the description to my second channel where we talk about matters of faith and all things like that but anyway on with the review as you saw from the thumbnail this is what we are talking about right here we are talking about Cremo you wet shavers know they make great soaps they make all sorts of things for the wet shaving community but uh, this stuff is just nuts, and this is the first bottle of this I bought. Let's take a tour around the box. We are going to look on the side here, and it'll give us the note breakdown. There's the information on the back. The t'other side, as my friends from Missouri would say, it's on the t'other side. And the top... And on the bottom, please forgive me for having to look so closely. You have to have you have your uh, code. Now it's a very simple box, but I like simple. There's some elegance and things that are simple. And uh, I've already used this. I put it back in the box so it looked pretty when I took it out. And it has a lovely box. It has an inside box. It's just not in a cheap cardboard box, so it stops it from rattling around and protects it. Here is the bottle. Nothing fancy about the bottle, and I don't mind it because it's a good way to save money. Okay. They got Cremo emblazoned on the side. And this stuff is just utterly fantastic. Now, what does it say the note breakdown is? It says that it is distiller spice. Middle notes is single cast bourbon. Cast bourbon and white oak and it just so happens I'm pretty familiar with how oak smells and the, the oak smell in here is pretty genuine if you live in Texas and you barbecue you're going to use white oak you're going to use post oak you're going to use something like that and, and it has a wonderful earthy Swedish kind of smell to it especially after it gets going but um, I've worn this twice I picked this up last Saturday. It showed up during a Dallas Cowboy game, and I've worn it twice. I would be wearing it to the men's Bible study tonight, but it's 80 degrees outside. The humidity is like 300%, and this scent I don't think would work well in a small room where I'm about to be. But the longevity on it, I want to say I got... Here, let me kill this fan over here. I want to say I got a good six to eight hours out of it which is fine with me um because i paid 14 dollars for this from amazon and this stuff smells way better than any 14 dollar fragrance has a right to it's just nuts hang on let me get a test strip and we'll uh we'll uh we'll uh yeah test it that's what we're gonna do i picked up 500 test strips from good old Slamazon for $13. So if you're doing the kind of videos I do and you need some test strips, Amazon's got you covered. The atomizer on these, the lid's pretty secure. And it comes off pretty with a with a tug. And uh which way would be the best way to do it? Let's do it this way. Nice wide spray on the atomizer. It's very good. Mm. It's very pungent at first. And I noticed on both occasions that I wore this, the fragrance stayed linear all the way through. You didn't see it fading from top, middle to bottom. All three of those notes stayed in place pretty much until the dry down. And then it got down to the oak. And even though it doesn't say that there's some type of powdery accord in here, 
There is. I can smell it, especially when it dries down. In, in like the 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th hour, you can kind of smell that. But I've got a whole shelf full of stuff right here. And this is the only one that I've ever received a compliment on. And I figured it would be so, well, niche in style that it wouldn't get too many compliments, but it really did. I also, as you can tell from the thumbnail I used, which I didn't get centered in the picture correctly, the body wash is excellent too. The next one I'm going to get is going to be Blue Cedar and Cypress. Oh, man, that stuff just smells good. If you like woody fragrances and you got 14 to 20 bucks, I gave you that span because prices change these days. Um, go to Amazon and look for... Let's get the box. What do you see? Bourbon and oak. And for that kind of money, you can go ahead and pick up the, uh, the body wash, which does a great job. It rinses clean. It doesn't leave that tacky film on you, which I absolutely cannot stand. Mm. This is a great fragrance. I don't know what they're doing over there at Cremo, but they need to be checked out, man. You got 14 bucks. Go pick this up. You won't be sorry. I'm going to show you something else we got coming up on the channel. If I can find the box. Which I can't find the box. But anyway. I actually bought one that didn't. Uh, that wasn't a tester. This is what I'm going to be wearing tonight. We're going to be. Uh, talking about. Calvin Klein. Aqua. This stuff is amazing. And since I live in Texas. And since we have 80 degree. Winter days. I can get more use out of these type of fragrances. Than I can. Some of this stuff right here, like the tobacco, like the uh, uh, Bentley for Men Absolute, and this, and this, and this, and it's just uh, by virtue of where I live. But this is the thing we're going to talk about next. I'm also going to be doing a review of Tombstone's, um, excuse me, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Tombstone. I'm going to have that video out for you tomorrow since I haven't done any shaving videos in a hot minute. Uh, but we're going to talk about that. I even have the matching aftershave. And I'm going to ask you guys for some suggestions on what to try next. Um, but that's coming up tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, here's a look at this. Man, snag this. You'll love it. And you'll save money and you'll smell good. The only thing better than smelling good is being wise with your money. And if you can spend less and get more, I'm always up for that opportunity. Man, once again, thank you for the new subscribers. We're up to 243. I'm excited. I can't believe the channel's growing this much. And I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys are helping keep me off the streets and keep me out of trouble. God bless. Go do something for somebody else today. Make somebody else smile. Go out of your way to love somebody. Have a great day.